We are back at Universal Studios Hollywood. There have been some big changes, a lot of stuff going on in the park. And so without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Let's head inside the park. So now we're inside of the park. It's not too packed of a day, but seeing this, right, I recommend if you do like the anniversary and of the studio tour and you do come here a lot, or you haven't come here a lot, or you're thinking of going soon, if anything comes soon, the anniversary is going to be over soon, sometime in August. So I recommend that you come here to experience the anniversary while you can because the anniversary is going to go. Also, I just noticed they have lights and stuff up there for Halloween Hornets, most likely, obviously. Look, they got lighting up there and everything. And then obviously this for the quiet place. Talking about the quiet place for annual Passover appreciation day starting August 21st, you can reserve in order to get a lights on walkthrough. So I highly recommend you do that. Put an alarm or reminder for August 21st to be able to get to be able to get the lights on walkthrough, which I will be doing. And here we are at the monstrous house. Dude, look at this facade, man. John Murdy did such a great job on this. It's incredible. Look at the great job they did on this dude. No wonder why he said to wait for the walls to come down. Look at this. This is incredible. They got the speaker right there. Dude, look at this. So basically, like I've explained in previous videos, we're just looking at a different part of the of the graveyard now. Dude, it looks insane. I will do it. Like, you can get like a little look at the bottom there. But that is incredible. Dude, look at all this. This is so cool. Look at this. They did such a good job. Don Murray, I swear, does mazes good every single year. I swear to God. And I'm pretty sure El Muerte, that guy that comes around with the graveyard, I think he's making a comeback as well. So we should expect to see him as well here. Dude, look at it. This is incredible. I can't wait to walk through this maze as well. I will be recording every single maze as well. I'll post separate videos as well of the mazes when I come here. So I'll be on the lookout for that as well. But man, this is incredible. I can't believe the work they've done. And as stated, I've seen from people, here we go into the French Quarter scare zone. Um, Los Muertos, forgot, put the picture on screen, you know. Here's one of the scare zones and the original stuff. They got original artwork all for the for the scare zone. It's all original. Dude, look at the props they had, man. Look at this. That's so cool. So it's like a like a monster versus like villains, but like with monster themed, which is really cool. Look at this. That's so cool, dude. Look at that. <laughs> you got the ref. One of these characters, I'm pretty sure, is actually one of the characters is gonna be roaming around here in the scare zone, so expect that. If anything, what these have been well, last year, what this was, was like a projection from the inside of like a little movie, I'm pretty sure. That's what it was. Man, look at it. They got lighting and everything for everything, obviously. You see, look at all this original artwork. So all of this is all original. They made it all for the scare zone specifically. So actually really cool. You know what would be funny? I, I, maybe this will open up during the scares. Maybe that will be open because like there's somebody like dead inside. Dude, that's incredible. Look at that. Yeah, I just can't. I gotta admire this, man. This is so cool. Yeah, see, I forgot. So this is what the scares are. It's called, it's called Luchadores Monstros. That's basically what the scares are. Yeah, that's cool. There's so much going on for this event, man. It's always happening. Just seeing it in person now reminds me of last year and Knowing this, the mazes for this year, this is this is gonna be a good year, man. This is gonna be a great year. Here we are at the construction site. Dude, look how much stuff they got done since this last time I was here. They got more of this. This is, has to be show building. There's no way this is not a show building. Look how big it is. Last time, it was like half of it. It's only maybe that section was that there. And now this section is here. So this has to be a show building or something. But yeah, so I'm guessing, yeah, there's gotta be a show building, something inside of it. It looks like the framework of a building. I mean, come on, there's no way it's not a show building. And then we come down here, there's a big support. I, this maybe, I don't want to say it's for a loop or something, but if anything, it's going to be a very elevated track. So this coast is going to be huge to think about since the support goes all the way up there, it's got to be for something. But think about it, if you see that part, it like it's pointed this way. So it's not it's not like the other piece where it's pointing like that, it's pointed this way. So maybe this could be for a loop or something because track pieces always, no matter what, the track pieces, um, the supports are always connected to the bottom. So if anything, if it's pointing this way, that means we're gonna be some sort of like upside down or something or some type of a version, that's what we're gonna be doing. So that's gonna be really interesting considering that we're gonna be doing all of that while it's gonna be spinning because this is a spin, not a spin coaster, but if anything, it's gonna be like X2 from Six Flags where it's gonna spin specifically like different rotations as per certain parts, like it's gonna do it on its own. And um, but yeah, not too much work for right here. If anything, like this could be for like a straight section because I don't know, it's like maybe this is straight section, like acceleration zone because since there's just straight supports or like same level, 
uh, they can install track to make it a straight section so like a second launch or something. That's what I'm thinking. Because there's a lot more track to be coming. I mean, look at this. You come over here and there's more supports everywhere. They are everywhere. Like there's more, more down there. It can, it's gonna go all the way over there, I'm thinking. Because that's they're clearing all the land over there. This is gonna be very huge, dude. I can't wait for this. So you're here walking past your dude. Look, it's the launch part of the coaster. That is 100% launch. That's a linear, linear, linear synchronous motor. LSM, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, to make the launch possible. That is insane. So we're gonna head down really quick. We're gonna get a better look at the launch. Or like this this portion of like, you know, the coaster. So now we're back down to the bottom to see the work. So dude, as I was coming down the escalator, I, I hope maybe I can get a picture of a photo or something. There was a track piece right there. It was just laying all the way up there. So, and it wasn't like, you know, the straight ones. It was like the curved ones, so. Maybe they're getting ready to put that on because they already have obviously supports up considering I'm pretty sure this ride is going gonna, is gonna to cover this area. So yeah, so yeah, they got track piece up there. If anything, they might get it ready for to be used as well. I want to say maybe this, this part maybe could be used for like a maintenance area. I don't know. So if you've been to a lower lot, obviously, you know the right, the Jurassic World ride, the waterfall works. I don't know if it was just me or anything. I feel like it's maybe been a, maybe days or like a week, one singular week since this waterfall was turned off. Uh, maybe because it's summertime, they turned off the waterfall, but it's usually always running. But yeah, I don't know. This waterfall's been turned off for a bit, so... I mean, it was pretty nice, too. It was like a nice little thing, so... Maybe they'll turn it on when it gets cooler or anything, but I'm guessing because it's summer, they're just gonna leave it off for now, so... And I also do want to call out, not Universal, but I'm just like pointing it out. The water here has been getting lower. Like, it's been... It's, some days it's lower than usual, which is weird because... It's always higher than usually. You can see like the water marks. The water marks are usually higher. So some days the water's higher, some days the water's lower. I don't know if it's Universal that's doing it or just that's how it is, but it's on, it's on, it's like, it's weird whether when the water level is consistent or not. So, yeah. So I'm here in the shop, right? They did, I've some, seen some people they did. So they lowered the price for the popcorn buckets considering that making this video, believe it or not, is actually the last day for the 60th anniversary of the studio tour. So if anything, after this, after tomorrow is over, if anything, if you want, maybe go in the store, they might have it available and it's way cheaper. I'm pretty sure before it was like 30 to 40 bucks, but now it's $20. So if you want it, you can get this popcorn bucket because, you know, well, it's a lower price now than usual. And, you know, it's good. if anything, it might go on more discount after the anniversary is over. So just go ahead and get it. So the place where they usually always have like a Halloween Horror Night stand, this area is where they usually always have that. Um, it doesn't look like it's coming this year. I mean, if anything, you know, Halloween Horror Nights here starts in less than a month. It starts September 7th or, or around that time, I believe. And there's no sign of construction work for like, you know, like the stand they always have. Like last year, it was, it was a Stranger Things pizza stand. So it doesn't look like they're bringing anything to the table this year, if anything. If anything, they might constru start construction soon, but they don't have to pick up a little quick for it to work, for it to be built in time. So we'll just have to wait and see. So we're just gonna have to keep waiting. So yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see for that stand. So make sure to subscribe if you do wanna stay updated on that. But I do also wanna talk about the mummy lockers and how there's been rumors maybe going around saying that not rumors, but in my opinion, I feel like that maybe they could replace the lockers um, and replace it for the Harry Potter lockers, maybe if they're thinking about that. But I could just be proven wrong and I just maybe could have gotten proven wrong by Universal because because now they replaced the old, you know how there's stickers about the lockers to tell you which stations do what lockers? Now that has been like renewed or something, like it has brand new, like uh, it's not like all old and everything it's all brand new so it's very interesting to see that so maybe they're probably most likely going to keep the lockers and they're not going to replace them so that's a good sign because the lockers are bigger they're actually better and they're not small like harry potter so i don't have to pay for a locker for a living so i can have like a bigger locker for free which is really really nice so this is where the newly announced maze the weekend nightmare trilogy is going to be it's going to be in soundstage 15 where stranger things was last year and i'm actually pretty excited for this maze considering the one from halloween horror nights 2022 was pretty good and really fun to walk through and experience plus uh, you can tell they're getting ready for this maze considering that they have the walls up which is i want to say like soundproofing walls but i don't know as well here's the drive-by update on the announced at midsummer scream by john murdy texas chainsaw massacre 
the legacy of Leatherface, which is one of the mazes I'm the most excited for this year, considering the details shared by John Murdy about it from Midsummer Scream. Here's the update for the Terra Tram, which is going along really well, and it looks like we're going to have to walk through some buildings like we did last year for Halloween Horror Nights, which I'm very excited for because last year's Terra Tram was amazing. Also, the Terra Tram this year is going to be based around Blumhouse, so yeah, Blumhouse is going to take over the Terra Tram this year, which is also very exciting, and I love this, but besides the walkthrough part of the Terra Tram being built, Nothing major has happened to the other parts of the Terra Tram, but I do suspect that once the 60th anniversary is over, that they are going to start construction almost immediately for the Bates Motel part of the Terra Tram. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure if they're going to do this, considering that they have very little time to quickly build something around there for the Terra Tram, but I really hope they do. Alright, that's gonna do it for tonight. There wasn't too many updates except for the Terra Tram and for Facade Wise for Halloween Horror Nights. So that's pretty much gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So peace out.